Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 5 of the FIFA 19 Arsenal career mode. It's been a few days since we've actually uploaded any of the Arsenal career mode. I do apologise for that but we are back today and then we're going to get the next episode I think up on Saturday and then Sunday. So fingers crossed we can get all that sorted um, because we do have a busy weekend coming up with more foot champions of course um, in Ultimate Team. Well let's kick off then. We are in Europa League of course as we are Arsenal so unfortunately we are in Europa League but hopefully we can at least win this uh, competition and maybe even win the league as well and get ourselves into the Champions League ready for next year and uh, we haven't really made any big changes to the squad and uh, transfer wise as you know um, so we'll see how we get on with the players that we've got right now uh, we've got a slightly weaker squad than the normal Premier League team uh, made a couple of changes in there still very strong though of course we've got um, Lacazette and the striker position. We do start with a Wobi though. Um, Aubameyang taking the day off today. He might come on in the second half, uh, but we decided to start Alex Wobi up top alongside Lacazette. See how they get on together. Uh, but right now we've got some defending to do. It is Sassuolo trying to get themselves in on the early goals and uh, almost, almost getting in on it. They've got to concentrate at the back. Also, always struggling at the back for some reason. We need to concentrate. Get ourselves in on this game try and get the first goal of the match uh, still waiting for that first goal 12 minutes in and yet again defensive defensive woes there at the back need to concentrate here's Lichsteiner uh, he's going to go forward he plays it for Lacazette who is on side here he's on side he's going to get this cross in and they're running in oh is it the woodwork who was that was that Aaron Ramsey? It was a cracking effort. Should have been going into the back of that. That ball played over top for Kolasniak. Kolasniak cuts back inside. His, shot, his cross sorry, was blocked. And Sassuolo are going to get this ball clear. So a little bit of danger there for the Italian defence. And still danger actually. As we did go ahead and win the ball back. But we couldn't push forward enough. So once we go then. Just over 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Here at the Emirates Stadium Europa League group stage game. And it is Meza Ozil who loses possession, but Aaron Ramsey there to clean it back up for the Gunners as Lucas Torreira lays it off there for Alex Iwobi, forced out wide to Kolasniac who crosses. And that one, that one's going to count. And it is, is that Lacazette or is it Iwobi? I think it's Lacazette who heads it into the back of the net to give Arsenal a one-goal lead. Less than 10 minutes to play and the perfect time to score here for the Arsenal just before half-time. Nice little cross as well from Kolasniac. Played out wide. Here is the cross. Comes in. And nobody really is troubling him there. Lack of that on the edge of the six-yard box. Simple header into the back of the net. And there we go then. First, second goal in Europa League so far this season then for the Frenchman. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more to come before the end of the year. And that was a poor um, defensive clearance there. I'm not sure what he was doing. But there's Lichsteiner trying to win the ball back for Arsenal. Time is running out now for Sassuolo. If they're going to get anything from this match, they are pushing forward, looking dangerous going forward. 30 seconds remaining and come on boys, get it clear. Oh my God, the goalkeeper thankfully reading that one. If he didn't get down to that one, it would have been a simple tapping for the Sassuolo striker. But we hold on, we get the victory which was needed. Three points in the bag in the group stage. Lacazette with the only goal of the game and there he is celebrating with Lucas Torreira. So let's jump into the next game then. Currently sitting in mid-table, we are in 10th place, so we really do need to get ourselves uh, a bunch of wins. And here is the game against Fulham. And we actually put in a good convincing win against Fulham in real life just a few days ago. So uh, let's see if we can try and replicate that in this one. We are away from home at Craven Cottage. Fulham taking on Arsenal. Come on, boys. We want to at least get ourselves a win. I don't even care if it's just a simple 1-0 win. I'll be called... Um, boring, boring Arsenal, I don't mind as long as we get the victories and the three points. That's a nice ball over the top for Bellerin by Guendouzi. Bellerin cuts inside, crosses far post and there is the acrobatic hit by Aubameyang who is back in the starting 11 today for the Arsenal. Quite a few changes as well from that midweek gate. Uh, Aubameyang's back in, Monreal's in at left back. We've got Bellerin back at right back. Um, who else is in there? Torreira is still in there. He didn't make a start on Thursday. Mkhitaryan did as well. Lacazette started too. He actually got a goal against Sassuolo. Uh, 20 minutes in. Here's Lacazette. Plays it inside there for Mkhitaryan. Plays it to Monreal who hits it across the floor. And Arsenal take the lead. Less than 20 minutes gone. It is full of nil. Arsenal won. So good start there. It's nice to see Monreal getting in on the goals as well. I think that actually might be his second goal of the season. Uh, doesn't score many goals in real life of course but they have so much space on the wings these days on FIFA 19, uh, especially if we do decide to uh, change things up. It's actually his first goal 
in the league. So I don't know if he's got any more in the cup. I think he did get a goal in the cup earlier in the season. Um, but still, he's going to have many more chances, no doubt. As I said, on FIFA 19, the wing-backs have so much space. And look at this, Bellerin again. He is looking to cross. He gets to cross in. The cross was cleared there by Fulham. But only as far as Lucas Trera gives it to Guendouzi in the middle, who lays it off here for Mez Ozil. He's getting forced to go back as he finds Lacazette somehow. And Lacazette puts it into the back of net. In off the post. And Arsenal double their lead. Two goals to nil. And this is looking good for the Arsenal. Still in the first half. Less than 10 minutes to play in this first period. It is Fulham nil, Arsenal 2. There are the away fans. Very, very happy, of course. And nice little goal. Don't know how Mesut Ozil managed to get it through all those defenders to find Alexander Lacazette. But he did. And Lacazette finishes Corley to score his fourth Premier League goal of the season. And we're still in the first half. We're pushing for a third here. Here is, uh, well, Bellerin now. Bellerin, is he going to get the cross in? Cuts it back. Crosses and cleared away there. Nice little header. But again, only as far as Torreira. Gives it to Monreal, who already has a goal. Here is Lacazette, the other goal scorer. And Monreal. Oh, actually, yeah, we've won a penalty. There we go. Fosu Menzor takes down Lacazette as he laid that one off to Monreal. And we've got a great chance here to go three in front before the halftime interval. And who's going to step up? I'm sure it's going to be Lacazette. It is indeed Alexandra Lacazette to score his second goal of the match. Can he put it away? Come on, don't let us down. Let's go into the break. Three goals up. Here he is. Lacazette steps up. He's going to go right. No, he changes his mind at the last second. And we do get the goal. That is three goals to nil. Lacazette with his second goal of the match. And now he will be looking for a third to claim his hat-trick. His first hat-trick of the season. Here's Bellerin then. Hector Bellerin looking to get the cross in, which he does. Cleared away and eventually cleared upfield. So 3-0 it is to the Arsenal. Winning the ball back as well. Guendouzi to Monreal. Monreal finds Lacazette who's waiting for that extra goal. It was Oza with that shot which was blocked. Mkhitaryan now for the Arsenal. Lacazette hits it and kills it into the bottom corner. And from outside the area, Alexandre Lacazette claims his hat-trick. And that's probably the best of the bunch there for the Frenchman. A fantastic goal. And just over 20 minutes to play here at Craven Cottage. And can we get a fifth goal? Plenty of time to do so. But what a finish that is from Lacazette. Two defenders in front of him. He still went to hit it and somehow manages um, to curl it into the bottom corner to score his sixth Premier League goal of the season. We've got 10 minutes remaining. Fulham trying to get themselves a consolation goal in this match with Andre Schürrle, a new signing, of course. Fosu Menzar trying to get the crossing, goes straight into the hands of Leno, who is back in goal today for the Arsenal. After Czech did play in midweek four, was in the Europa League. And here's Mkhitaryan, massive space on this near side yet again. Here's Bellerin this time, cuts inside, finds Mkhitaryan again, and Lacazette hits it and somehow manages to get enough power and angle on it to score his hat-trick. That's Arsenal's fifth, Lacazette's third, and what a performance this has been from the attacking line here from the Gunners today. A great performance all round, and again, we're just um, using those wings really good, managing to get the ball inside when needed to. And then, of course, whoever's playing at the cam or pushing from midfield can just lay it straight through. And Lacazette is there to finish. Cracking finisher, of course. Seventh league goal of the season. We're into the final couple of minutes, just waiting for that final whistle to blow. We have the three points. We have the win. But are we going to have a clean sheet? We may just be. Uh, Leno saving that one with his feet. Just a couple of seconds remaining before that final whistle does blow. Then we can concentrate on the third and final game of today's episode. That one goes over the crossbar. But nice little effort there from Fulham. At least fighting to try and get themselves a goal. Even though they've been totally rolled over today. Five goals to nil here for the Arsenal. There blows the final whistle. And Lacazette will be going for that match ball too. Uh, so good performance all round. He's got to be the man of the match, Lacazette. Uh, so let's jump into the third and final game. As I said, we are up to sixth place now in the league table. So we are slowly improving, getting our, our way to fight for that title. Uh, still is early days, of course. But let's see how we get on then here at the Emirates. The rain is falling today as we take on Leicester City. Former Premier League champions, of course. Won it more recently than we have ourselves. Um, so it's going to be a tough game. But let's see how we can get started. Um, not as strong as they used to be, of course, Leicester, but they can always cause anybody any danger on any given day. Here's Gwendouz then, plays inside for Ozil, Lacazette to Aubameyang. I don't think there's been any changes from this team um, to the one that we, where we just beat Fulham five goals to nil. So it should be, again, another good performance, almost going close there. Aubameyang with the overhead kick, just wide of the Leicester City goal, but at least it's nice to get ourselves the early effort on goal. And Kasper Schmeichel with the goal kick. Pumps the ball into the other half, but Arsenal have possession back. Here is Lacazette. 
Now Mkhitaryan playing very central. Yeah, I think we've got him on the right side of the central midfield. And an attack here from Leicester City. Here's Mark Albright and he's going to go for it. He does. Goalkeeper saves it. And Arsenal get the ball. I was going to say get the ball clear, but it's gone straight to Lukaku who hits it. And that one, thankfully, just off target there by John. Is it John Lukaku? I forget his first name. I'm probably so wrong with that. Um, but it is a J, so... Oh no, Leicester City have gone in front. I was not expecting that from that position, but somehow Leicester City have gone in front. One goal to nil, and now Arsenal have some work to do. To do. And good little interception there from Granduzzi. Couldn't hold on to it though, unfortunately. And now Leicester City are pushing forward, looking for a second here. Really causing Arsenal some trouble. Granduzzi finds Lacazette, waiting for the run on this near side. Here is Torreira. No Bellerin pushing forward for some reason. Uh, Ozil, Gwenduzi, Gwenduzi, nice little touch there, plays out wide, he could have taken off the shot himself, but there is the volley into the top corner, and Arsenal are back on level terms, half an hour played here at the Emirates Stadium, it is now Arsenal 1, Leicester City 1, and it is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, number 14 for the Gunners, who finishes coolly to give Arsenal a 1-1 scoreline, now we can push on and try and get these three points wrapped up, and he'll be happy with that goal, of course. Gwendozi could have taken the shot off there, as I mentioned. Uh, but it's sad to be unselfish. Laid it to Monreal, who crossed perfectly for Aubameyang. And then, of course, he smashed it into the top corner to score his eighth Premier League goal of the season. Back in front, of course, um, with the battle for top scorer with Lacazette. After Lacazette scored three in the last match. And Aubameyang didn't get a goal in that game, I don't think. I can't, no, he didn't. Um, so he'll be looking to get a bunch of goals now. And we just need to concentrate here. Don't concede any late goals. I'll take. I'll, obviously, we want to win, but I'll take a, um, a draw, especially after going a goal behind. And it is very, very late on now. And Leicester City are the ones in possession, pushing forward now centrally. Ball over the top for Jamie Vardy. He manages to knock it on, wins the ball back again. Here is Silver who hits it on target. But the goalkeeper, Leno, was there to make the save. And I think that is going to be about it, boys. It is indeed a 1-1 draw with Leicester City. Leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.